Good day, YouTubers. This is Captain Howe, 1947, back with one of my old guns. Today I have something that's a little different from some of my other videos. I have a Marlin lever action. Now, Marlin are known for their lever action uh, guns, and they've been around for a long time. Uh, this particular one is, cal is uh, in a 444 caliber, and it's a little different from um, some of the others. Uh, guns that you'd normally think about in lever action, such as 3030, uh, 35, Remington, things along this line. But back, at, I think in the late 1960s, Marlin uh, came to Remington and asked them to develop a shell that would uh, that could be uh, replace the uh, 4570, which had been around for a long, long time. And Remington came up with this particular shell as you can see here, it's uh, 240 grain um, blunt nose because it was in a um, in in these lever action guns, which it has to have. Now um, the these guns were made starting in 1972. This particular one is a uh, a 1974, and the way you know that on Marlins are the first two numbers on the serial number, uh, in this case is 26, you subtract that from 100, and that will give you the year that it was manufactured. So 26 from 100 is a 74. So this was the second year of production. Now, since this gun was produced in more recent years, Marlin has been bought up by Remington, and after that, uh, I believe there was some problems in the manufacturing of some of their weapons. They weren't up to the quality that had been produced by Marlin. I believe now they have gotten themselves somewhat straightened out. But if you were in the market for a lever action and you're interested in a Marlin, you want to look for certain things. On the back side, not on this side, but back here, is located uh, JM on the, uh, on the barrel. And if you see that, it is an original Marlin. If it's an R, it, it would be a Remington. It would be a more recent man, uh, manufactured gun. Uh, these guns are um, a little bit different. I know most people, there's some purists out there that don't like to see a, 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 a scope mounted on a lever action. Uh, this was a gun that I bought, and this is the way it was set up, and I have never take, taken it apart to change it around. But... It is a little bit different in the um, uh, way it operates. Um, most lever actions, um, they're a little different. Each one, I think, a little bit different. This one was produced, I think, is on the, uh, produced along the 3.6 three, three, model uh, mechanism that Marlin has made for years and years and years, since, uh, I think, 1948. Or, or so. Anyway, uh, these Marlins are uh, kind of uh, one of the things you have to worry about. Uh, this one does not have a safety that a lot of the newer guns would have. It does have a, a safety though. If you pull back the trigger slightly, you come into a safe mode. There's another safe mode on this. If you do not have the lever pulled all the way up, it will not fire. So if it was cocked all the way and you were to push on the trigger, it will not fire. It must be all the way up and then you're able to fire the gun. Also, you, you must have the lever up tight to insert the shells into the uh, magazine. If this is open, this gate will not open at all. So it must be up tight and then you can insert your gun. It holds, I believe, five shells. I'm not sure if it's four in the magazine and one in the chamber or whether it'll take five in the magazine. But anyway, it, it, it supposedly holds five. The, um, the gun ha uh, Marlins have a little bit, I think, longer throw than maybe a Winchester. Um, but they're, they're normally very 
of, of, they have a real good reputation for the uh, type of weapon they are. Now, in more recent years, Hornady has come out with a new shell for this particular gun, and that is this uh, pointed nose, but it has a plastic tip on it. So it makes it a safe shell to be put into these particular guns. It's a little bit heavier shell. It's a, uh, a 265 grain shell. It also has a little bit better ballistics. I believe it's a little bit faster. Um, it has a little bit better range. These guns are basically uh, not something that you probably want to shoot more than about 300 yards. I think their most effective range is probably uh, to a maximum of about 200 and 30 to 240 yards. Um, they're, they're basically will take down any, any game here in North America that we have. A, um, but they're not really something you would use for shooting at four or 500 yards that you might come into, let's say, out west. On the East Coast, uh, they're an excellent gun for a, a white tail, uh, wild boar, things along that lines. So they're 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 they're, uh, they're good from from that standpoint. Um, they also are pretty. They're they're also known as a brush gun because because they're such a heavy bullet. Uh, there's less chance of any kind of um, trajectory deflection should it hit any small twigs or anything. Doesn't mean they aren't going to have some deflection, but. Unlike a lot of other web, other gun uh, calibers, there's less effect in most cases. So if you're in a wooded uh, situation, you're going to have a little bit better ballistics, I believe, from that standpoint. But they don't have the range. But on in a wooded area, you don't normally have a, a very uh, long shot to speak of. The um, this gun, um, like I say, was uh, produced in 1974. It's uh, got walnut stock. It's in real good shape. And if you're going to buy one, try to look for the, um, for the older Marlins. I think you'll find you have a little bit nicer weapon. And I believe these guns are running on the, um, on the used market almost at the cost, or maybe in some cases more, than the uh, new Marlins are in the same caliber. This gun weighs about seven and a half pounds, approximately. And um, like I say, it's 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 a, it's pre safety requirements that I think they have today. It does have an offset here on the trigger due to the fact that there is a, a scope on it, and this is a Bushnell full power, which really is probably pretty good. I mean, you really don't need much more than that for this for the range that this gun could reach out. So you have a little offset that helps to make it possible to cock cock the gun but um, overall these are nice weapons uh, most people don't have like I say have a scope on them but this one does uh, it helps for I guess for a little when you're out there a couple hundred yards which can be a little bit hard, more difficult with open sights but uh, you know they all everything has its good points and bad points and that's probably one of its good points from that standpoint. Anyway, I just wanted to show you this gun. Should you have any comments, questions, or anything, please write me. Thanks.